Namaste, everyone. The IPL is not going ahead just at the moment. We all know that. But that doesn't stop us living some of our great memories. So I thought I'd start it off and share my favourite. This picture behind it says it all. 2010, the ch opportunity to meet His Holiness the Dalai Lama. What a great moment in sport, not just in my life, but in sport in general. To meet someone so special, to go through so many trials and tribulations as His Holiness has done, and then to humble himself by coming to that match, which was an absolute cracker. CSK were under the pump. We were chasing down 192 Kings 11 Punjab. MS Stoney comes out and tees off 100. He got it 54 off just 27 deliveries. Suresh Rainer 46 off 27 deliveries, both striking away at over 150. And they got us into the final. And that brings my second favourite moment. Mumbai Indians, CSK. Now we all know that's the rivalry, isn't it? Unbelievable. Mumbai Indians, well, they've got our mark. But in this game, they didn't. 2010, they were chasing down about 140-odd. It was a pretty average total. Tough wicket. But my favourite moment, Albie Morkel, MS Dhoni, sets me at a straight mid-off, almost like a backstop in many ways. And, man, Kyron Pollard, who was smashing him, he's 27 off just 10 deliveries. Looked like he was going to get Mumbai Indians home again. But not this time. Straight the big Hados at mid-off, take a good catch low down, and that was game, set, and match. And that was our first championship. What a great moment. Absolutely loved my time at CSK. So that was the yellow love moment. That was the start of our campaigns. And it was brilliant to be a part of just about every IPL, either as a player or as a broadcaster. Anyway, I'm going to pay it forward to my great little mate, Suresh Rayner, who's been the backstop of uh, CSK over all these years. So, mate, I'm looking forward to hearing what you've got to say on your favourite IPL moment. See you guys. Stay safe, love each other, and be careful. Hi, brother. Thank you so much for sharing the yellow love. And uh, I wanted to uh, say one uh, good inning of yours uh, against Delhi. You scored uh, 93 with that mongoose bat. Every ball was going out of the park. And you played so well on that particular wicket because wicket was turning and Delhi played really well. They scored 190 and 185 something and you were looking so solid. We we had a good partnership. I scored 49 in that game and I was captaining the side and you made me believe we can win from that situation. And uh, that was a very, very good knock of yours. I still have that bat you gave me, signed bat. I'm going to share it with you. I hope you remember that autograph you gave me. Now I would love to pass this uh, yellow love to my brother from South Africa, uh, Fab Duplessis. And now you have to tell us uh, which which are your uh, favorite inning and uh, show us the yellow love. Hey guys, I've been asked and uh, nominated by Suresh Raina to take a trip down memory lane to think of some of my favorite IPL moments for CSK. First of all, Matthew Aiden, well done on starting this initiative. I think it's pretty cool that you can spread some yellow love in this time where we all got time to reflect on some great things that we achieved together there at, at CSK. I've been very fortunate to be part of the team for almost 10 years now and have some incredible memories there of us winning two IPLs, two or three Champions Leagues, uh, and some in incredible games that was so good to be a part of. But I'm going to try and remember some individual brilliant innings. And my memory is not great, so it might be a little bit off here and there. But bear with me. Uh, 2013, Suresh Rainer scored 100 against Kings Punjab that won us the game on his own. That was a fantastic innings. Fast forward to 2018, Dwayne Bravo against Mumbai Indians. We were completely out of the game and he came in at number seven or eight and got seven, 67 or 70 or 40 odd balls. That was basically just hitting sixes and the game, how we won it, I, st I don't know till today how we did it. Uh, there was a, Shane Watson played a knock in 2018. I think it was the final when he got 100 and basically won the game on his own. He did it again in 2019, scored another IPL 100. 
and we felt just two runs short. So he's been he's been great the last couple of years. And then lastly, MS Dhoni has been obviously part of the team since the beginning, but I see him as the the, the best finisher in the game. And to have been on the on the field and the side of the field for so many years and just see him uh, construct innings as together and how he's finished games. There's been a lot of them, but I'll I'll mention one that's very fresh in my memory was last year against RCB. I think we were 60 for seven or 60 for six. Uh, basically, we should be bowled out for like 90, and and he was he was in at the moment and absorbed absorbed pressure very well. He did six here and there, and then you started thinking we're back in the game. Back your bags because you feel like it's too much, it's too far away. And then he started hitting more and more sixes. And I was sitting there and I was going, what is going on here? This is ridiculous. The sixes he was hitting was out of the stadium. And he ended up getting 87 or 40 odd balls. And one of the, I think the last over was 26 in the last over to win the game. And we were like, after the game, what just happened? How on earth? Did we win that game? So if I have to pick one moment, it would be that one because I remember it very well. And sitting on the side of the field, it was just ridiculous how good that innings was. So I'll have to pick that as my favorite IPL moment. And I'll pass it on to a great of the game who I've played a lot of cricket with at Chennai, uh, Michael Hussey, aka Mr. Cricket, who's now one of the coaches. So he can share some of his favorite uh, CSK moments. Yeah, g'day CSK fans, Mike Hussey here, and uh, well done, Hados. Um, yeah, great idea to uh, re remember some of the fantastic uh, CSK moments over the years. Um, I've been, it's been uh, passed on to me by Faf, so uh, I'm going to try and remember back uh, to some of the great moments. I might as well start with Faf, I guess, um, since he was good enough to pass this this uh, initiation on to me. Um, yeah, there was a qualifying final, uh, 1v2 against the Sunrisers Hyderabad. Whoever won went straight through to the... The, the big dance, the, the grand final a few years ago, I can't remember the year exactly, and uh, we were in all kinds of trouble at the Wanketi Stadium. Rashid Khan was bowling really well, as he always does, and uh, Faf opening the batting, uh, hung in there, hung in there. We're not sure, we weren't sure how we were going to get the score, but uh, he was there at the end. He hit the winning runs off Bhuvanesh Kumar and got us into that final, and then more importantly, we were able to go on and win that final. So uh, well played, Faf, on that occasion. Uh, the, the main main memory that stands out to me was a game uh, up at Dharamashala. Uh, coming into the game, we were in fifth position outside the playoff uh, for top four spots, and we had to win, obviously, and the game was tight. It came right down to the wire. MSD was out in the middle. We needed 12 to win off the last two balls. Irfan Patan was bowling for the Kings 11, pretty good bowler in himself, so uh, it was never going to be easy. And, of course, Captain Cool he hit two sixes in a row to get us into the finals. And, uh, and again, we were good enough and able to go on to, to win that final against Mumbai Indians. Uh, so, so, you know, that, that was one memory that really stands out to me. I'd uh, like to say hello to everyone. And uh, my IPL favourite memory would have to be when we won the IPL uh, 2016. Um, we had a, a very good uh, tournament the whole way through. Uh, the best thing was that we won a lot of close games, um, which really builds great uh, momentum and great belief um, within the, the team. And um, we, we really had a great uh, bunch of guys. Um, and I think you know a lot of credit you know goes to our coaches and mentors at the time, um, Tom, uh, VVS, uh, Helmo, Murley. Um, you know, really does so much behind the scenes, a lot of throwing cricket balls, a lot of picking up cricket balls, and doesn't like handing out new cricket balls. Um, but to all the other guys, uh, it was a great tournament. Um, we were coming up against, obviously, Bangalore, in Bangalore, and it's gonna be a big challenge uh, in itself. We know how good they are there, uh, and we know how well Virat was going uh, that year as well. He scored 960 odd runs and was the highest run scorer. Um, obviously, Chris Gale, AB de Villiers, um, they had a great, great team. Um, and for us, it was about backing ourselves and our skills and, and do what we believed in. And, you know, we won the toss um, and I elected to, to bat first. Um, obviously, 
you know, Bangalore you want to chase. They're good at chasing, um, but I felt that uh, as a team, our best uh, attribute was was defending with the ball, and um, we had a great a great bowling attack um, headed by Boovy, um, and I, I felt that that was the best way forward to to post a good total, and uh, we managed to do that. Ben Cutting, I think, hit 28 off the last over, which got us to 204 or five, I think it was, um, but you know, my heart was in our mouth when they were one for 100. I think 45 off, uh, off 10, I think it was, off 10 overs. Um, they were really, really flying. And then uh, we had a couple of quick wickets, quick big wickets. Um, Virat, I think, got bowled. Um, and I think uh, Chris Gale, I think, got caught in the boundary. Um, and obviously getting AB De Vries out as well. Um, you know, when you get those three main guys out, it'll really lift your spirits. and. Uh, Look, we went on to, to win that uh, by, I think, 13 runs. It was fantastic. Um, and it's one it's one thing that I'll always cherish for the, for the rest of my life. Um, and it was, a, it was a great memory, and that's one of my favourites. Um, I'd like to <coughs> nominate two guys. I'd like to nominate uh, Kane Williamson. Um, I know Kane uh, loves his Instagram and his social media. Um, and one other person I'd like to nominate uh, who played a massive role um, in that 2006 uh, IPL season is, uh, is Boovy. Um, I'd like to, to hear your guys' uh, IPL memories and what your favourite memories are. Thanks, guys. Hi there, everyone. Uh, I hope you're all staying safe in these times. Um, I'd like to thank Davey for the nomination to share some memories during uh, the IPL and experiences that I've had. And he mentioned uh, a fantastic year, the 2016 season, which we managed to to win the competition. But um, I've been fortunate enough to be involved in a few years and, and all of them have been uh, incredibly fun. Um, and I think the opportunity in, in general to, to play in the IPL, um, you know, without a doubt, the, the biggest domestic competition in the world um, was how unique it was from playing um, just in your own country and then international cricket um, and then playing alongside guys that you've, you've played against for a number of years and, and getting to know um, so many of the, the domestic players in India and, and coming together as a team for, for the six to seven week period that the IPL tournament goes for. So um, a lot of fond memories there. Um, I think uh, a couple of years later, we, from 2016 to the 2018 season, we managed to, to make the final again. And, um, you know, we, we did have a, a very good year winning nine out of those 14 games. But I do think um, the consistency over um, a number of those years um, were large parts to, to the success that we had and um, the support staff um, with the likes of Tom. Um, Murley and, and Laxman and, and Halmo and all these guys that, that led the team and Dave as well as, as captain um, and it was a, a unique season in that you know, Dave wasn't there our, our highest run score for a number of seasons so um, you know we, we managed to, to fight our way through a, a lot of um, really close games through the, in that season uh, the pitches were, were quite variable um, and the team adapted really well and so it was a pretty special season to to be a part of um, where we we had a team that that really played for for one another and and did some pretty special things throughout that campaign to to get to the final and, and have our our party ruined a little bit um, by CSK um, in particular Shane Watson um, who had a, an unbelievable game and, and played a fantastic knock so um, yeah, a lot of fond memories throughout the, the years with Sunrises. Um, and I'd like to nominate Manish Pandey and Khalil Ahmed to uh, share some of their memories throughout their IPL. Cheers. Hello, everyone. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. And thank you, Ken, for the nomination to share IPL memory. Uh, I hope you're behaving good with Sandy. And I'm really relaxed now. There is nobody to disturb my hairstyle. <laughs> Actually, I got a lot of good memories in the IPL. But favorite, obviously, when I got my debut cap at Eden Garden. Uh, because I was very excited to play IPL. 
and sunrises gave me that opportunity to play i really thank you sunrises and 2019 was very exciting tournament for me hum log 12 points se qualify kiye the history mein abhi tak kisi team ne qualify nahi kiya tha 12 points se so mere liye bahut exciting tournament tha wo aur some flying kisses some calls ye sab yaade hain jo mere sath judi hui hain ab main nominate karna chahunga mr rashid khan ko wo apni ipl memory hamare sath share kare hi guys hope everyone is fine uh, staying home staying safe and staying clean and taking care of yourself and your family uh, thank you khalil ahmed for the nomination of uh, ipl memory uh, i have so many memories in ipl my debut for the sunrisers hyderabad but the best memory i will never forget is the game against kkr in eden garden where i took 3 wickets 34 runs in a run out and we qualified to the final as well and uh, that night was one of the memorable night for me which i will never ever forget and uh, for the further ipl memory i want to nominate uh, manish pande to tell us about his ipl memory thank you guys and take care hi sarish family i hope everyone's taking care of themselves and staying safe Thank you so much Kane and Rashid for uh, nominating me to share some of my favorite IPL memories. I think both the seasons um uh, were really memorable for me. The couple of performances that I still remember would be one against Chennai where I got 80 odd runs and the second would be against Mumbai where we needed six of the last ball to draw the match and I was able to do that. Uh thank you so much guys for uh, making me relive those memories once again. and uh, i hope everyone's taking care of themselves and staying safe with the families stay home stay safe